Then her gaze fell upon a pretty little squirrel sitting nearest to her at the end of the table. The squirrel was holding a walnut in its paws. All right, Veruca, Veruca said, I'll have you. She reached out her hands to grab the squirrel. But as she did so, in that first split second, when her hands started to go forward, there was a sudden flash of movement in the room like a flash of brown lightning. lightning. And every single squirrel around the table took a flying leap towards her and landed on her body. Twenty-five of them caught hold of her right arm and pinned it down. Twenty-five more caught a hold of her left arm and pinned that down. Twenty-five caught hold of her right leg and norched it to the ground. Twenty-four caught hold of her left leg. And one remaining squirrel, obviously the leader of them all, climbed up on to her shoulder and started tapping, tap, tap, tapping the wretched girl's head with its knuckles. Save her, screamed Mrs. Salt. Veruca, come back. Where? What are they doing to her? They're testing her to see if she's a bad nut, said Mr. Wonka. You watch. Veruca struggled fiercely, but the squirrels held her tight and she couldn't move. The squirrel on her shoulder went tap, tap, tapping the side of her head with his knuckles. Then all at once the squirrels pulled Veruca to the ground and started carrying her across the floor. My goodness, she is a bad nut after all, said Mr. Wonka. Her head must have sounded quite hollow. Veruca kicked and screamed, but it was no use. The tiny, strong paws held her tightly, and she couldn't escape. Where are they taking her? shrieked Mrs. Saul. She's going where all the other bad nuts go, said Mr. Willy Wonka. Down the garbage chute. My golly, she's going down the chute, said Mr. Saul. Staring through the glass door at his daughter, then save her, cried Mrs. Salt. Too late, said Mr. Wonka. She's gone. And indeed she had. But where, shrieked Mrs. Salt, flapping her arms, what happens to the bad nuts? Where does the chute go to? That particular chute, Mr. Wonka told her, runs directly into a great big main garbage pipe, which carries away all the rubbish from every part of the factory. All the floor sweepings and potato peelings and rotten cabbages and fish heads and stuff like that. Who eats fish and cabbage and potatoes in this factory? I'd like to know, said Miss Mike TV. I do, of course, answered Miss, Miss, Mr. Wonka. You don't think I live on cow beans, do you? But, 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 shrieked Mrs. Salt. Where does the great big pipe go to in the end? Why, to the furnace, of course, Mr. Walker said, pointing to the incinerator. Mrs. Salt opened her huge red mouth and started to scream. Don't worry, said Mr. Walker. There's always a chance that they decided not to light it today. A chance, yelled Mrs. Salt. My darling Veruca, she, she'll, she'll be sizzled like a sausage. Awesome. Good work.